Hi, I'm Derek Charge. I'm a product manager with Rockwell Automation. Welcome to the 450L How To series of short videos. In this video, you'll be learning how to configure a system and what to expect when you receive the system. So in front of me here, I have some light curtains which were ordered and have just been received, they're still in the box. Um, we're going to do an unboxing. The first thing to note is there's two boxes. So 450L is different from other light curtains. It has a unique transceiver design, so each light curtain stick can be used as a transmitter or a receiver. Traditional light curtains are bought, sold in pairs, so you have a transmitter and a receiver. 450L, as I said, can be either. So first thing to note is you need to order two of the same stick. So I have two boxes here. I'll move this one to the side and I'll do an unboxing on this. So we use cardboard packaging, it's better for the environment, it can be recycled. So, just... so what you'll see inside, we're still using the cardboard packaging for the environmental reasons. These are just packers to take up the space. That's a packer. This box contains your accessories. So, in the accessory box is a set of top and bottom mountain brackets that's supplied with every single light curtain sold. Important to note that because I see a lot of quotes coming in asking for prices for that. It's already included, you don't need to buy it. I know a lot of the competition, you have to buy all the brackets with us, we give you this one. There's also an installation instruction for the, for the series, for, so this is for the 450L and for the 450, sorry, 450LB and E models. And the final thing which you'll find in this accessory box is a tear shot. So this is a 30 millimeter, so this is a hand resolution tear shot. Once you have your light curtain set up and installed, you will use this to, to verify that it's working correctly. You should be able to pass this through the field without there being um, any, any failure. Back to the light curtain itself, we we'll use some air bubble packaging. This is a 600 millimeter E version, which is the enhanced version. Um, the E also has a built-in laser. Now you'll see on this that we have this protective film over the, the front optic window to protect the window from scratches. It's important that you take that off before you, you use it and set it up. Otherwise you, you may not get the full functionality from the system. It will reduce the, the, the range and impair the performance. Move this box to the side. I also ordered a couple of sets of plugins. So again, the unique thing about the 450L is you set its functionality by the plugin. In this case, I've just gone for universal plugins. So I have two the same. So these will be supplied in a separate box. So you can expect to receive three boxes minimum. Um, if you have 
one of the other plug-in types. So we have different plugins for transmitter and for receiver. We also have cascading. If you order one of those, there's a good chance that they could be packed in separate boxes. So you, you could be looking at receiving four boxes with your shipment. The good thing about the universal plugins is they can be used as either a transmitter or a receiver. There is a little bit of a, a misconception that the universal plugin allows the the light curtain to perform advanced functionality can perform any of the, the functionality available in the 450L. That's not true. It's, it's only universal from the point of view that it can be used as either a transmitter or a receiver. And the good thing about having a universal is you only need this universal plugin and this stick to create one side of your system. So if your transmitter or your receiver goes faulty, all you need to have in your spare stock, service spare stock, is these two items, and you'll be able to get yourself back up and running with very small delay, and certainly a lot less delay than if you had to replace a full system transmitter and receiver. Now, in terms of selecting the 450L, <clears throat> you should start by thinking about the length that you need. We have 150mm modules, so an optics module you can see is, is this part, if you look at the, the, the front of the, the light curtain close up, you can see there's distinct sections, so each one is 150mm and we supply light curtains in lengths from 150 millimetres all the way up to 1950 millimetres. We also have the choice of finger or hand resolution and then there's a further choice whether you want to have a basic on-off functionality which would be the 450L-B be for basic or if you require advanced functionality, you would then have to choose the 450LE, E for enhanced, which allows you to use different plugins. So we have plugins which allow you to do blanking. We have another one that allows you to do blanking muting. We have external device monitoring. And we also have cascading. All of those plugins are only available for the 450LE. I have a further selection of plugins here. To, to let you see the, the range that we have. So this is in the full range that I have in front of me, but we'll put up a table that shows that. Each of the five labels has on it an inverted lettering, a U for universal, C for cascading, T for transmitter, or R for receiver. Now you may notice transmitter doesn't have any dip switches at all on it. It's just a, a, an enclosure that slots straight in. Cascading also has no dip switches on it. It slots straight in as well. Now, this is all black, whereas the transmitter that I just showed you is red and black. In fact, all the other plugins are red and black. And the reason for that is to give you a quick visual aid as to which end you plug it into. So on the 450LE you can plug in at either end but the plugins will only fit on the end they're supposed to go to. So the ones with the red black fit in this connection end which has the red end cap. So we need to take that out. 
and you would slot that in. Now, before I do that, there's a little groove here. There's some keying. There's also a feature inside, which means this red end can only fit in this connecting connection end. You need to push it all the way in, make sure there's no gaps, and then tighten the screws up to ensure you maintain your IP65 seal. So likewise, if you had cascading, so that's the all black plug-in, you'd take off the cascading end dust cap, which is the green one, and you would slot this in here. Now again, this is mechanical keyed. It can't go in the connection end. Likewise, the red black ones can't go into the cascading end. So that would slot in there, and the same procedure again. Push it all the way home. Tighten the screws to maintain your IP65 seal. And then you're ready for the next stage, which is setting it up. Different plugins have different functionality. Um, and the dip switches generally do slightly different things. And you'd have to refer to the, the user manual to see what functionality and what dip switches you need to set. But in general, you could use it for setting up your, your blanking or your muting, whether it's two sensor or four sensor, for example. It can also be used to set up your, your auto restart and on universal, that's what you, you use the dip switches there for as well. Uh, we also have a number of other features which are common, such as operating range, you can reduce the operating range and you can set beam coding. That helps in cases where there's other similar light curtains operating nearby, which could be causing interference. So the beam coding will set the light curtains to only recognize each other, to minimize. And not to say minimize, it doesn't entirely stop optical interference, it only minimizes it. It should be fairly effective and the, the reduced operating range means there's not as much beam intensity going out so again it should minimize the effect of any optical interference. The installation instruction that's provided within the accessories in the light curtain box you can think of this really as a quick start guide. It tells you how to install the, the plugins, um, tells you how to mount the brackets, uh, also gives you a quick guide on how to power up and how to align. We we'll also have a, a quick guide on the the LED user interface, so it gives you all the, the status indicators and lets you know what they are, what they mean and then it also gives you the electrical details so how, how you'd wire it up on the last page and as I was saying, this is a, a rough guide to the, the plugins, uh, dip switches <coughs> 